you want to know how to use Traffic Manager President Edition, or also known as TMP, you came to the right place. So I'll cover the most used and most useful features of Traffic Manager, but please let me know in the comments if you want to know anything else and I'll try to help you out as much as I can. So Traffic Manager will help you control your traffic a lot better. And the first option that I want to talk about is about the toggle automatic vehicle despawning. So what it's basically do, when you load the game, it's set to uh, despawning on and that's the vanilla way of the game to work. And that means that if there is too much traffic, the game will remove some vehicles to make your traffic flow a lot better. So when you turn these on, or actually make it no despawning, which you can see in here, this will cause a lot more traffic in your city, but it's a lot more realistic because it won't hide the traffic that you have. One way to demonstrate this is with all these vehicles that you have in here. So if I turn this off or on, like this spawning on the vanilla way, you see that almost all trucks will go away. So the ones that are stuck in there for a long time, they'll just be removed and your traffic flow will work a lot better. But again, if you want more realism, like I do like, I'll keep it in no despawning and the cars won't disappear on the screen. The next option that I want to talk about is the lane selector. So lane selector is this option in here and what it does, it actually makes vehicles to stay in their lanes without moving it. So for example, in a junction like this, what the game does, uh, usually vehicles will try to cross straight away uh, from one side to the other, and that can cause a lot of traffic. So in doing this on junctions like this, when you're merging traffic or when you are going out of traffic like this one, you make sure that vehicles use all lanes and stay on that lane for that period when they are actually wanting to go one way or another. So if you ever wonder why vehicles won't stay uh, in more than one lane, they will all just queue in one lane. This is one of the reasons, because they can leave at the last minute and they will all want to, to stay in there. So doing this helps vehicle choosing other options uh, in the game and your traffic flows a lot better as well. It's also helpful when you have nodes very close to junctions like this. You can go in there and set that up so they don't change lanes and this also help them not changing the lanes when we have merging happening. Don't overdo it. Doing this too much and not allowing them to uh, change their lanes might be uh, damaging and cause more traffic and more issues than it actually solves it. So use that sparingly, especially on the junctions like I'm using in here. Another very useful option that I use quite a lot is the parrot signs. So if I use this in the interchange like this, you don't need traffic lights and your traffic will flow a little bit faster and a little bit better as well. But as you can see, there are no cars getting or crossing over here. So any cars coming this way, they don't have priority, but as there, there isn't anyone crossing their way, they'll just get into the road and keep going until another car comes from this road and they will stop and allow those cars to go first like this one. There we go. Perfect example for that right on time. This is a great option. You can control which side gives way or um, even if you want them to fully stop before entering a junction, but usually you give priority signs, which is this symbol, yellow symbol on the main avenues, and you give way on the cars that are coming in here. So the main difference is that if you make them stop, they will always stop before entering the junction, having or not having any cars coming on this road. They will be forced to stop, as you can see right there. This is how you use priority signs, and I hope that helps you out. Now, another option that you have is the junction restrictions, and it gives you a few options in here. When you select a node or a junction, you have all these options. So basically, you can allow or uh, forbid people to cross the road at that specific junction on that specific side of the road. And you can also ask cars to enter the junction even if they don't have enough space, like this car. It's, he's in the middle of the junction. If I had this off, they would wait 
behind here this one is still obeying the, the previous commands but they would wait uh previously like this one is doing it's waiting over there not entering the junction until it's actually free for it to get in this one is doing the same now but if we do it like this they will just get in there regardless of having enough space for another car in there or not and this will make the traffic flow a little bit better you can also allow or not for them to change lanes at that specific junction and you can even allow u-turn so if you don't want them going all the way around here you can allow u-turns and they'll just uh, make a u-turn just over here so that's junction restrictions and this is a very helpful tool if you want traffic to move better especially with the what i call keep going option or the crossing option as well and finally one other option that i quite like is the time traffic light Although traffic lights sometimes they are not great, if you have a time traffic light, it helps keep that traffic light on just if you have cars uh, going through it. If you don't, then the traffic lights will just change the phase and the next uh, vehicles will, will keep going. So this is a very powerful and helpful tool in the game. You can find it right here. To set it up, you select this, hold control and click on a junction. This will automatically set up things with the uh, initial setup that they do it's basically i believe it's um four and eight or something or three and eight uh three and eight is basically the minimum amount of time this traffic light to be open it's three seconds and the maximum is eight so as you can see here we have the seconds that it's going and now it's the minimum if there are no cars this will close as there isn't right now and the next phase will start this phase usually have a lot more cars on both sides here so it's uh, open for a much longer time so we can see all the car the cars going through the, the traffic lights in there as we can see right now and if we get uh lower than zero in there and we are going on the excess like we are right now as soon as we stop the cars this will start changing and allowing uh, the next phase to go through like you're gonna do right now that's uh, the last option that I have to show you but as a bonus I want to show you something with traffic manager that not everyone knows about and uh, you if you don't look at it you you won't see where to find it if you go to the game options and you take a look at traffic manager present edition or TMP you see that you have a lot more options in here than you usually have so what i would suggest you to do is to increase simulation to high or very high that will make vehicles to obey more of the rules your traffic lights and all the lane selectors and things that you put like that in the game uh in terms of gameplay what i would uh, suggest you doing is hold the city which also like reduce the reckless drivers percentage which like you usually have in city but if you want to make your city works the best way it can you make it a whole city and they will respect all the rules use individual driving styles so they will start doing random things and a little bit some will go a little bit slower some will go a little bit faster than the speed limit and this will look a lot more realistic now one thing that i think you definitely should have in your city is enabling advanced vehicle AI and enabling lane selection to 75%. When I spoke at the beginning about all the cars uh, going in just one lane on the highways, if you do dynamic selection, they will choose more and more lanes and they will randomly choose lanes if they don't have to go on an exit. As you can see, they're using all the lanes in here and from time to time, you'll see some of them changing lanes. This is the dynamic lane selection just come into play and they'll do it um, if they they have just like a, a pretty long way to go and not wanting to to get on exits like for example this car will live here so it will select the lane and stay in there but from all the other part of the journey they will go and uh, do some lane changes along the way and this makes things a lot more realistic and you see vehicles using a lot more lanes. And finally, the last one is enabling parking AI. If you're using parking lots and you don't see anyone parking there, the reason why you can see that is because the enable more realistic parking is disabled. 
So enable that and you see people using those parking lots. That's also a mod that you can find in this Steam Workshop. That's all for today. If I have any questions about any of the, the other options, they are less used and um, there's not much questions about those, but feel free to ask me in the comment section below or join our Discord server. The link is in the description as well. Link for the mod is also in the description if you want to take a look at that and if you're new to the game. And I hope you enjoy your day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.